breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. And we begin, begin with breaking news tonight. The bomb squad shutting down streets in downtown Detroit. Uh, police are probing a missing package left outside the offices of the Detroit News and Detroit Free Press. That's in the old Federal Reserve Building in downtown Detroit. Uh, 7 Action News reporter Camille Amiri is on the scene, and uh, she has the very latest on this situation in downtown Detroit tonight. Camille? Dave, that is right. We were just told a few minutes ago by the bomb squad that this is not, I repeat, not an explosive device, but they are still investigating the situation. I want to take you to some video that we did shoot earlier tonight so you can get a little bit closer up to what happened. Right now, we can tell you, as I said, not an explosive device. This is all in front of the old Federal Reserve Building, which is now houses the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News. This building is owned by Dan Gilbert and Bedrock Ventures. And we want to tell you that what happened was someone dropped off a newspaper vending machine, the kind that you put the coin in and then pull out and get the newspaper. That person apparently said something suspicious. We're going to go to some sound right now. Listen. Gentleman uh, dropped off a uh, newspaper machine in the front of the old Free Press building here and uh, made some statements to some security personnel that made them suspicious. Uh, they notified the police. The bomb squad is on scene. Uh, we are investigating. And at this time, there's no indications that there's an explosive device. However, the investigation is still in progress, and we're asking people to continue to avoid the area. So a lot of unanswered questions at this point. We can tell you that the letters POW were painted on that newspaper box. So who was this person? Why was he dropping off this box? And what did he say to people that tipped this off that this was something suspicious? Right now, a lot of unanswered questions, but I'm so happy to report to you that this is not an explosive device and that everyone here is okay. Again, police still on the scene investigating. We will have much more as this continues to, to develop. Live in downtown Detroit, Camille Mary, 7 Action News. Good news there, certainly. Uh, Camille, thank you for the information in your live report.